What's good everyone, it's Adam from Our Music Mogul and welcome to another video. Today, as the title suggests, we're gonna go ahead and make a beat, but this time, I'm not gonna be making it. I'm gonna let AI do the beat for me. So you're probably wondering, how is AI gonna do the beat for me? Well, today, Lander put me up to a task, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump on their sound site, download some samples that AI suggests for me, and we're gonna put together a beat for that. If you're not familiar with Lander, they are famously known for their online mastering with all their algorithms and machine learning. This time, they're putting all that machine learning into sample searching so that you can spend less time searching for samples and get to making beats a lot quicker. It's sort of like having your own personal assistant sort of search for samples for you so that when you sit down, you know you're gonna make some heat. So with that said, let's go ahead and find some samples and put together this beat. Here we are in Lander Samples. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pick out a loop and we're gonna build off from that, let Lander Selector AI tool sort of dictate and choose what sounds will work with the sounds that we're about to choose. You know, it sounds a little confusing, but it's essentially letting computer do the beat for you. So uh, I'm gonna go over to, well, Starter Loops Sounds Fitting, and let's just see if something tickles my fancy. That's like a trap sound. I'm not sure if I want to do trap for this one. We do a lot of traps. Let's maybe do... That could be like a cool, soft, hip-hop beat. All right, so let's go ahead and download this right over here. And let's go ahead and uh, click the selector tool and see what Lander thinks would work well with this. <laughs> bass melody I don't really want to add in another sound I want some drums let's go over to drums and see what it gives us here all right let's take this one over here and click download continue as you can see, the keys are not the same as this, or the tempo for that matter is not even the same. So what AI is doing is finding sounds that sonically can fit well together, no matter the tempo or key of what it was recorded in. Uh, let's go back, let's clear this here. And I'm gonna go back once again. And I'm just gonna go to this lo-fi beat maker kit here. And we're just gonna go scroll this down to drums. And I'm going to download this backbeat over here. And we're going to use selector to kind of build off of that sound. All right, let's take that hi-hat pattern. We can use a hi-hat pattern. Maybe we'll use that shaker for something. Uh, well, let's see what we got for vocals here, actually. Put a vocal... And we'll download this, we'll put that on top of that. Continue. And let's use selector to build off of this sound. I know we're kind of going deeper and deeper into it. It's kind of creepy and scary at the same time, but cool. Let's take that. And then I'm gonna go back to the main page and I want like an, let's go instruments. And I want like a sound effect that we can use in it. Maybe I'll search with what I want here. We won't use everything AI. We we'll use a little bit of human power. I'm gonna take a vinyl sound. Let's see if there's anything like that here. If I could spell vinyl. Let's take this kick actually to layer up our drum loop. All right, so that's all I wanted really. All right, let's take, let's take this one here. It's a softer one. Download that. And for this kick, I'm just gonna use selector over here and maybe it's gonna give me some uh, other shots that I can use with it. So 
It's giving me a bunch of kicks that I can layer with it, but maybe a nice snare would be nice. Let's see what we got here. That could work as well. Let's go ahead and download that. I'm just downloading a bunch of sounds here using selector and just really focusing in on what we need to do. And for this last one, let's go to hip hop here, see what it gives us. Let's take the snare sound. Let's go to the last page here. All right, let's take this percussion sound and we'll leave it at that. Next, let's go over to Logic, import all these sounds and start arranging what uh, Selector has given us. All right, so here we are in Logic. Let's go ahead and um, find that main piano sound and bring that in. We're gonna use this as our main foundation to the beat itself. Uh, the tempo is 57 beats per minute. So let's change our session to 57 beats per minute. And uh, let's loop that up, see how it sounds. All right, I'm actually not gonna use that uh, change up for this beat over here. I'm just gonna use the first four bars. So next, Let's go ahead and add in a vinyl sound just to kind of give it some more of an authentic feel, laid back feel. Just going to drag that in right here. I can just drag this out maybe the full four bars. I'm going to take out some of the bottom end and a little bit of the top end as well. Just gives it that authentic feel. All right, next, let's bring in some ambience. I know we had an ambient sample. All right, here it is, this one over here. Let's go ahead and drag that in. So this is an F and we gotta go to an E minor. So we're gonna drop it down uh, one semitone. So let's go to transpose this down one semitone. I'm going to stretch this out as well. You just get this nice ambient track happening. Definitely for this like lo-fi hip hop beat. All right, next, let's go ahead and bring in just the hi-hat pattern over here. So let's chop it up over here and we're going to cut that out and we're going to make this to two bar pattern just like that. Sounds something like this. All right, for this sample, we're going to make it nice and wide. So we're going to bring in uh, a delay, sample delay, stereo. And we're going to create a Haas effect by just delaying one channel. So we're going to just pull this up here on the left side and make that hi-hat a little bit wider. All right, that sounds good like that. Next, the snare is looking at me, so let's go ahead and drag in the snare. We'll put it on the twos and fours, so something like that. Make it a little bit louder. Maybe we'll add in some reverb as well. Let's go to reverb space designer. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in this shaker over here, let's bring that in. And uh, we're just gonna bring it down or stretch it out to half a bar over here. 
It's going to speed up this slow 57 tempo up a bit. So let's duplicate that one more time. I'm just going to put it in the background here. It just speeds this up a little bit. All right, next, let's go ahead and bring in Bring that drum loop we had here. Oh, there it is right there. So we're gonna drag that in. Of course, we're gonna tempo match this 85 to 57 beats per minute. So let's go ahead and count that out. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so this crash right over here is the next four bars of the beat. So let's go ahead and cut that out. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and shrink this out to, or stretch this out to four bars, because it's four bars on that. Let's go ahead and cut that up and see how it sounds like. All right, I'm gonna take out this first little clip here. I don't like the way that sounds, so I'm just gonna duplicate this over. All right, so that sounds good just like that. Next, let's go ahead and add in our kick here. I'm gonna layer the kick with this drum pattern over here. Layer up the kicks. Get a double kick over here. here it's going to add in another kick at the end here and let's just duplicate this pattern All right, so that sounds good like that. Next, let's go back to Lander samples and try and find like a lead sample that can work on top of this beat over here. All right, so we're back in our selector place here. Oh, I think we do have some percussions that we could have used, but maybe we'll go back to that in a moment. Uh, let's go back to our piano sound. I think this was it over here. Let's go ahead and go back to selector and I wanna find like a lead sound over here, so. Uh, what can we put on top of it? Let's go to hip hop first of all, just to make sure that we're in the same genre. Now, I don't know if this will work 100%, but let's go ahead and see why the AI chose that one. We can download that. Let's see if we go to genre, if there's like a sub genre. Okay, so there is. So we're gonna go to boom bap here and see what comes up. Let's go ahead and download that. I'm gonna go selector here, see what comes up off of that. So I'm going to download that one as well. And then we're going to see which one works for us. So let's go ahead and jump back to Logic. All right, so we are back into Logic and I'm thinking to use this lead right over here. I 
I think this one's going to sound the coolest of what we chose earlier. So let's go ahead and take this one in and drag. So I believe this was 160 beats per minute at a B minor scale. Let's go ahead and just count this out. So there's the cut right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that up over there. And we're just going to tempo this down to one bar. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. It's going to sound something like this. That sounds actually kind of nice, very suited for uh, what's happening outside. It's raining a lot right now. It's a little bit dark and uh, it just fits the vibe that we're having right now. All right, next, let's go ahead. I'm going to skip these uh, melodies if you guys are cool with that. I'm not sure it's going to quite fit into it. I like what we got going on right now. I'm just going to go ahead and bring in this perk sound. I want to bring it in since the beginning. So let's go ahead and work that into the beat right now. I'm going to layer it up with this snare. And we'll put another hit over here. Maybe in the middle. All right, and then we're going to go ahead just loop this section over here. I'm going to layer it up with our snare once again. And then we're going to do another one. At the end, right over here. Let's just shorten it up. And for this sound, we're going to add in a little bit of reverb. Let's go ahead and bring in Logic Space Designer once again. And maybe we'll add in a little bit of delay on this as well. Let's go to Sample Delay Stereo. Uh, actually, no, maybe not this delay. I want uh, Delay Echo. And let's go ahead and just duplicate that over. And we got ourselves the loop. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, Lander's selector tool, AI tool, sort of really map sounds that really fit well with each other at first. I was sort of a little bit skeptical with some of the sounds that we downloaded, but they worked out uh, pretty well in my opinion, if I do say so myself. I know we didn't use some, but I think this is all that we needed. We got ourselves a nice little loop to work with. So that is the beat right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can let me know what you think about it in the comment section below this video. You can also let me know your thoughts on Lander's AI selector tool and uh, how it could work into your workflow. Now I've partnered up with Lander to give one of you an incredible pack from Lander. We'll be giving away a Lander Pro account for 12 months, which comes with a whole bunch of really cool things that you can use as a musician, as a producer, someone who makes their own music and releases it. So be sure to go over to Lander.com and check out what the Pro account has to offer also be giving away a thousand credits that you can use in the lander samples library just as we did earlier in the video we chose our samples so you're gonna get a thousand credits a thousand downloads on any sample from there so all you got to do to enter into this giveaway is leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe to lander's youtube channel 
that's it we'll choose one winner the winner will be announced over on my instagram page at i'm a music mogul once again just leave a comment subscribe to lander's youtube channel and you are automatically enrolled into the giveaway that's it for me guys hope you all have a fantastic day i'll see you all in the next one and thank you lander for sponsoring this video talk to y'all soon later peace